So guys, I feel great this morning. I feel great. I mean, I'm waiting to see how Nico feels when he gets up. Uh, Elliot is up. Chris is up. I'm up. And uh, we're getting ready to go to the show. So this starts video three, day two of the show. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> Got that on film. So, so Elliot, how do you feel this morning? I feel as well. Sleeping apparatus. No, it's, it's not. And I almost feel bad for the fact that you slept on it, but I'm not going to offer up the bed. Yeah, fuck you. Wait, I, think, I didn't even use half that bed. Like, no homo. Are you you're more, no, 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 you're more than welcome to sleep in that if you want. You, you just have to. Just, you, you can't put your cold feet on me and don't touch my wiener. Really? I'm just saying. I have a very touchable wiener. Really? But yeah, now that's not comfortable. Yeah. It didn't look comfortable. We actually we had How to shim it. How did the biggest motherfucker end up on the smallest fucking thing? Well, well, I got I I paid for the room originally, and then of course there's a bunk bed. So where else was Nika gonna sleep? And then you should show the fine people of Instagram. Nico's crash nook. Nico's crash nook is here. And I honestly was hoping that he wouldn't try to climb up there last night in his inebriated state. Uh, I was hoping he would just like he just roll over, and I was gonna be cool with it because I I didn't want him to fall, but he did quite well. And then Chris has this room all to himself. How does that even happen? He's smarter than all Apparently, well, no, I mean that bed in there is pretty comfortable. So careful, it's Navy coffee. Day two, day two of Blade. Oh, Nico doesn't feel well. Day two, oh, Chris Elliott's gonna do it again. Whee! It'd be funnier if he busted his ass. I mean, <laughs> I'll laugh and then call an ambulance. <laughs> so, oh, it's warmer in here today. Quite warm in here today. Really? That lazy that you had to go down? Not lazy. It's not lazy no, at sick. all. So yeah, we're getting ready to go in. Like I said, Nico's not feeling well. Well, you saw the intro that I filmed last night. I hate you. I did so nothing. I, this is not my fault. You, you took it upon so yourself to drink as much whiskey as any human should ever have in two days, all at once. But you were pour, you poured coffee cups full of whiskey, little man. Was it full? It wasn't was full. Like there was room for creamer. <laughs> pour a little shot. Nah, uh, you. <laughs> I just drank multiple of them. I, I heard a couple of me pour. It was like, gloop, 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 gloop. guys, I am at two knives. We're gonna take a look at some of this stuff before we talk to Dave, because well, Dave's busy. It's not this exact one. So, red. It looks a lot like this, but has some white, um, white strands through it on the red ones. So we sold those. We had three of them. So all three. These, I've sharpened a few to you knives, guys. You've seen these on my channel. As a matter of fact, you saw Dave's actual knife on the channel. But this, this is the one that we were just talking about. That's a $50 knife, guys. That is a nice, nice knife at $50. Is that the only one you have of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my car, man. Hi guys, so we finally get to talk to Dave Warren at Two You Knives, so you guys know that I've had a couple of knives on the channel, I've sharpened a couple of them, so let's, uh, Dave, talk us, talk us through Two You Knives. Alright, Two You Knives are manufactured in China, and uh, they do a lot of in-house designs, and uh, in the past couple of years they've reached out a few other designers, uh, Michael Lee Torma designed the Cebu down here. And the Costoba. We'll, we'll look at those in a minute. And uh, I actually designed the Envy. 
And I, I, that's the one that you guys saw was an Envy that I sharpened that had some some striking anodizing on it. Yeah. It's like, I think it was a, like a honeycomb pattern almost on it, if I remember correctly. Kind of like Joker colors, maybe purple. Well, I think it was purple and purple and something. Yeah, I it, remember it was, the one. Yeah, it, it was. And then I think you said you gave that away as a gift. Yeah, my brother got it. Yeah. yeah. But this is the Envy. Um, all of our knives run on ceramic bearings, ceramic detent. Um, all the titanium models are now coming with um, either the zipper pouch or hard or case. The Envy and the Hive is now coming with this uh, hard case. Nice. And yeah, they're going to switch to this for all titanium models soon. Okay. But yeah, the new Envy, I'll go back to that. The backspacer don't have the uh, jimping on it like the old one did. Mm hmm because it was kind of digging into your hand a I, bit. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, so I remember that. Based on uh, customers' um, not complaints, but just feedback, uh, I got rid of that and made that backspacer smooth and uh, increased the detent, but with leaving the lock bar tension easy enough to, to unlock real easy. Nice. So snaps open really well, nice heavy detent. But still closes real smooth. Also, I liked I liked the deep hollow. That was a fairly deep hollow on those, and I liked that. It, it got it got real sharp. I, I remember sharpening yours, and I was like, man, oh, oh, too far up. There we go. Easy. <laughs> got it has a nice deep hollow on it. That's I forgot to mention that is um, that's what a lot of people said they wanted was you know a hollow grind and a drop point. So yeah, really all I did was take the old blade design and just put a curve on it, made it a drop point. Yeah, but yeah, they did a really good job. It comes out. It's it's thin. I haven't measured it yet, but it does get pretty thin, and then has a nice thick tip though. Yeah. Ain't that what's that flat grind on the tip? Yep. Com compound grind. See that one? Yeah. That's Now we were talking about this one. So this is your this is that fifty dollar, and that's this is G10. Yeah, G10. That's the bruiser. The bruiser, and I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. If it, the only thing like like I said, I'm not a fan of deep carry pocket clips. This. For 50 bucks, that's a hell of a knife for 50 bucks. That is a, that's a great seller. That's really, uh, this is the largest run of knives that they've done so far. I think they made about 1,200 of these. Yeah. And uh, like our titanium models usually only go to 100 or 120 piece. Yeah. So the Bruiser has really kept us going steady, you know. Right. Yeah, and it's, well, here's the thing. For a $50 knife, that, that's still, that's a real attractive knife. And... It's it's got that's it's that's and, a nice blade shape and, and if you like the fidget, perfect. It's got action like one of the you know more expensive. It's, it definitely has action like a more expensive knife. That one I just just now took out of the pouch, so it might have been a little yeah. more stiff, but yeah. yeah, you know how that goes. You just play with them. Yep. All right. But yeah, you. and lifetime warranty on all the two years. I do all the warranty work in the U.S. If you strip a screw, bend a clip, like a lot of people do. Um, I got clips, screws, everything you need. You so you're basically just a one-stop shop. Yeah, anything you could need, if you, even if it's your fault. Most 99% of the time, I'll just send you the part and uh, ask you to pay $4 shipping or whatever. Nice. And uh, they supply me with all that. They understand people are going to build their, or bend yep. their clips or strip screws or whatever. So we, nice. got, we got your back. Well, let's see here. So you guys can see some of the models here. There's a couple more down here. A couple warnies. There we go. A couple warnies. A couple cleavers. Nice on that little fixed blade. Minimalist fixed blade right there. I forgot to tell you about the drop Oh, well, let's talk about the new Hive real quick then. Thank you. Real quick. This is the first version of the Hive designed by Bade Modern Designs, and it had the drop point mm -hmm. with that belt brush satin finish. This honeycomb thing, some people thought it was like little stickers or something, but it's not. It's actually carbon fiber inserts. Yeah, it's actually one piece. One piece of carbon fiber inlay on the inside. On the inside. Yeah, so it's nothing that's gonna fall out or anything. It's pressed in and has some adhesive on each side. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it can be taken out for anodizing. But here's the version two that I was going to talk about. This one has the Tonto blade. This one has the hand rub satin. We also have one with the machine satin. But um, all black hardware, but the hardware is titanium. 
and the action on this thing is just yeah i was playing with that earlier that the action on that is smooth i was messing with it while you weren't here and i was like man i hope dave comes back soon or i'm gonna walk off with his knife yeah <laughs> that is a fidget toy yeah I that swear. thing that thing's nice and what was is that m390 yep this is m390 here's the machine set and it's not a big deal you probably ain't gonna pick that up on camera anyway no, but you can see right. you can see the difference. You can definitely see the difference in the direction of the of, yeah. the, of the side. I I, I'm, I like both. I do too. I, I like see. both. But the whole thing with me, the problem was uh, a satin, be it hand rub or machine rub. I'm hard on stuff, Dave. Yeah, I'm hard on, it, and then it winds up being a blast and tumble because I look at it and I'm like, man, I, it's all scratched up. I'm just going to take the shop and refinish it. Exactly. I understand so. that, and I'm that way a lot. I love the looks of the hand rub satin, but. After a week of the way I carry a knife, it's you're like, ah, oh, crap. It's no longer hand rubbed. So, yeah, two of your knives, guys. Let's get in here and move. Check uh, this out. Give two of your knives. Can we see it? There we go. Two of your knives. Pause it, guys. Phone number. All that stuff. And apparently, Dave is $70, and he's in Austin 10. <laughs> guys, Tony, like, left me at the booth. I just loaded my pockets, man. I just started shoving knives in my pockets. Oh, wait, there's Tony. <laughs> okay, I am at Freeman Knives and Outdoor Gear, and they have got some they've got some door busting fixed blades here. But the thing that really caught my eye was these folders. Can you guys tell me about these button lock folders? Let me get you guys back in frame. <laughs> and there we go. Hello, ladies. Hi. So, can you walk me through? Uh, Freeman knives in general, and then the, the knees. This is this is, I like these. So it's Freeman Outdoor Gear out of Brownsville, Oregon. All handmade, custom made down there by Jeff Freeman, who is actually not at the table right now. Cur currently but. off somewhere. <laughs> Listening to Bill Harzy. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, all his own designs. Most of the blades are D2 here. We have S35BN as well. Aluminum handles, stainless steel handles, carbon fiber handles as well. And I, carbon, I noticed some, oh, you've got inlays, handle. yeah. That's not good. Huh? He doesn't have any in those yeah. right now. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. That's attractive. It's attractive. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys can see there's some inlays. we got some, some colored G10. Yeah. Like that. And then, like I said, the fixed blades are all textured. The grips are up. Why, why are you at that angle? Work with me. <laughs> Um, yeah, so these are, these are great, and so this is all all made in house in, in Oregon. House in his own shop. There you yeah. go. His own shop. Yeah. So enough, everything all American made. Yeah, even uh, he, he outsources the sheaths, but they're all from uh, American made. In the nice, US. nice. And so yeah, we're gonna get. I will try to. We'll try to remember and put this. But guys, just you can pause on it. But I will try to put that as a as, as part of the transition it's not focus focus there we go Jeff Freeman so yeah guys and like the thing that got my attention was the the milling pattern on that blade which gives it it gives it a little bit of a flair and I, you guys yeah. know I like button locks I like button locks they are one of the safer locks because you're not gonna have to get your finger in the throw of that blade All right guys we were with Morgan and his wife Haley. Yes. Go. Yep. At hey, is it Mock Knives? Yeah, yes. Mock Knives. Mock Morgan knives. Owen Custom Knives. Morgan, oh, performance is not a joke. So I'd like to uh, talk to talk to you guys about like these knives. So you have a Bowie knife over here that we'll save for last. But okay. <laughs> what, what are you doing with knives? I mean, I just see that um, they're hand forged. Yeah. So basically, these are all just forged. So I like the brute to forge finish uh, with the Damascus. Obviously, you got to finish it all the way. The only one, those are the only two knives I brought that aren't hand forged. Those are Vegas Forge Stainless Damascus. Vegas Forge Stainless Damascus. Oh, yeah, insane. I, I like those guys. They're it's great good guys. stuff. Very good. So these um, are all hand forged. Yeah, hand forged. Convex edges on them. Nothing fancy. Just him, his forge, hammer, yep. and an anvil. Yep. There's a lot to be said for that. Yeah. It's, I wanted good user grade knives is at this, a user price. Is this your own Damascus that yep. you made? Yep. That's my own Damascus. It was. Uh, it happened. To I, you. <laughs> it did. It happened again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I repurposed an old billet. Um, it was going to be some mosaic, but ended up having some difficulties with the mosaic. So I took what I could and made two of them. The other one sold uh, yesterday. Now, so 
this behemoth back here. Yeah, was, the kitchen sieg. It's, it's a fucking sword. Uh, yeah, it's a kitchen sword. <laughs> it's a kitchen sword. Uh, yeah, it's fun. So it, its name is kitchen sieg, which is kitchen victory in German. Uh, it's a 70 inch um, S ground W2 blade, 15 inch, 15 inch edge on it. And yeah, it was, I made it for a really big guy. He was a lineman on the Oregon Ducks. It have so, to be a massive guy. Yeah, 6'7", about 370 pounds. Big, big Now gear. the handle. This knife looks small in his hands. The handle is something that I, because that is, so guys, you guys know I talk with Melvin Watanabe all the time about Westinghouse Damascus. <laughs> this is Westinghouse Rag Damascus, or Rag, not Micarta. Micarta, not yep. Damascus. Westinghouse Damascus. And so Same that's the first I've seen any actual of the Westinghouse yeah. rag. It's beautiful stuff, but it stinks to high heaven when it, you're working with it. it. A lot of it does. <laughs> yeah. A lot of it does. Yeah, it, it was nasty stuff. Uh, now, it makes you feel like you got a flu if you get in your lungs. Now, I have to ask you, this is the one. This is the one every time I've walked by has gotten my attention. I don't want to pick it up anymore. Uh, you can pick it up. Uh, no, I don't want Please. to. No, I'm going to. It's a knife. It needs to have a hand on it. Guys. <laughs> that yeah. is a sexy ass buoy knife. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh Canister Damascus made out of uh, Yamaha R1 motorcycle bearings. I was going to ask you what it was. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's Yamaha parts because my family likes Yamaha. Nice. Work for Yamaha. Um, so I got it from my uncle. He does a lot of the custom work for them. Yeah. Um, and then handle, of course, is uh, Ivory Paper Micarta from Westinghouse. Inlaid uh, matching Indian head pennies from 1900. Yeah. Uh, and then the it's a frame tank construction with a uh, frame and guard out of 1800s wrought iron off an old gate. Um, I heat blued it and etched it so you can see the, the little wrought iron funness that you get. And then all the other fittings are copper. Let's see if I can get in on that. Yeah, yeah. there you can see it. Now you can see it, yeah. Yep. Yeah, you kind of get so, a, there's a, a pattern. It, it's almost like a Damascus. Yeah. Because you get different content of carbon in it. Yep, it's not as evenly distributed nope. as you did. No. So. Uh, and then, guys, look at the sheath. Did you make the sheath yourself? No, you that's your own sheath work. That's a Paul Long sheath. So Paul Long's out of Texas, known for his incredible sheath work. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's sexy. He has sheaths on every Master Smith knife out, out there. Nice. Yeah. So you do your own I went sheets? there. I do. I do my own sheaths. They're nothing special. Well, they're, 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 well I'm not gonna lie. They're they're attractive and they're <laughs> scout. They're scout carry, which is yes. like the you guys know me. That's a sensible way to carry a knife. It is. It is. So. So. Oh, look at him. I like the wraps. Oh, I yes. like the fact you're doing wraps. And yeah, it's, you're do, oh, let me get actually get them in frame. Yeah, they're a doing silk, wraps. silk Edo wrap. Yeah, and then like they're a, stabilized. And with you actually are using resin. hard, yeah, and you're using um, yeah, actual I, furniture in there. So you've yep. got yeah, those are the a little bit of a swell. Yep. So, you guys know I took, I took Japanese swords. Yeah. I took uh, Kenjutsu for a few okay. years. I like that shit. Very cool. So. All right, guys. Awesome. So, yeah. Thank you. Mock knives. Yeah. Check them out. Hit Hopefully, us up. Right. Do you, you said, is that up for a? No, this is sword. Huh? Oh, no, no. Is that up for a, a, a an award? No. No, no it's not. It's oh. in, I'm competing with it in the kitchen cutting competition tonight. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. That's the original intent for it. Well, see that that's gonna be easy because you got some time because you'd be able to light up like eight onions and yep. just chop them all at once. Yeah. Like I win. If it's an I onion win. cutting competition. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. Yeah, and like I said, one. mock knives. Here's the info. Um, <laughs> pause it so you can get a hold of him. Uh, so I'm over here with fiber light fire starters, and we're John. And so you guys just do, um, oh, crap. you guys just do um, just the fire starters. Yeah, we sell all kinds of fire starting tools for the outdoor industry. We have our different ferro rods here. We have our large ferro rod, the mini ferro rod, and then we have our tinder. The tinder we have in the cans, mm -hmm. kind of a bulk option here, is our uh, refill bag that has uh, waterproof lining, resealable. We have our mini kit, and then we have some different bundle options, leather pouches, and then we have our survival cards over here as well yeah, that are made by Ready Man. That's uh, that's pretty cool. So the the tinder is that um, it's okay. So I'm seeing it's finely ground wood fiber and wax. So you're you're able to you're able to start it even if it's wet. Yep, even if it's wet. So let's fill this up a little bit here with more water so you guys can see it. Legit. So we'll put it on top of the water there. 
and uh, light it with our little mini ferro rod here. So just a little spark ignites say, it right takes, up. That takes quick. And that's going to burn about uh, five to seven minutes on top of the water. Mm -hmm. And if we do it dry here, we're going to get upwards of a 10 minute burn time. And we'll light this guy with our large ferro rod. So just a super safe, easy, reliable way to start a fire. Which that's, sometimes that's, you absolutely need that. Yep. Depending on where you're at, kind of environment you're in, you may, you may want to start a fire like right now. Yeah, and it just gets rid of the headache. There is, everyone has their own ways to start a fire and uh, you have your home remedies and stuff like yeah. that. But when it gets down to it, I know I can start a fire anytime, all the time. With this no matter stuff. what the conditions are. Yep. All right. Cool. Well, guys, like I said, it is fiber light fire starters. Veteran owned. You guys know. Come on, veteran owned. That's what we're going to do. All right, guys. Chris, Elliot, Chorus, Joe, David, Nico, Jonas, Angel. I mean, it was, we are all eating go. dinner tonight. So this is going to be the outro for today's video. We had a lot of we had a lot of fun, and now we're gonna have dinner. And Angel, no, I will not reshoot the outro. You're stuck with what you got. I got this. This is my lottery pickup today. Do you need that sharpen? Pretty stoked about it. I did a video where I shaved Check with out one the of those. On right? That, though, real, so clean. Right? Such a clean plunge. Like those, would you say those are buttery? Buttery. <laughs> buttery. All right, guys. There's probably going to be a couple videos go up, so I don't know where this is going to fall. I will see you guys in the next video. Love all you guys. If you like them, you like them. If you don't like them, you don't like them. They'll be stuff in the corners. You know what to do.